Hello and welcome to this Blender 2.64 tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make an audio visualizer like this. Um, this is one that I made and it's pretty basic. There's not a whole lot, just some moving bars with a black background. So it's pretty simple to make, so let's get started. Okay, so first thing you want to you want to do is open up Blender and here's the default scene. So let's move our cube up on top of the grid, tap into edit mode, click Z to go into wireframe mode, and then select the bottom vertices. Okay, so now we're going to hit Shift S and cursor to center. Okay, so now that we have that, we're going to tab out of edit mode, hit Shift, Control, Alt, C, and origin to 3D cursor. Okay, so now, since we've done that, when you scale it, it's only going to move above the grid, so it's never going to go below the grid, basically. Okay, and then, now that we've got all that done, hit I to add a scaling keyframe. So, now let's open up another window, and in both windows, hit T to get rid of the toolbox. And in this window, we're going to change it to Graph Editor. And as you can see, this line is from our keyframe, or where the keyframe was added. So we're going to open up the Scaling Keyframe box and click Z Scale. This is because we only want it to scale along the Z axis, so it looks like it's going up and down. Okay, so now we're going to click Key and Bake Sound to F Curves. So then we're going to find... Our song, I'm using Clocks by Coldplay, and we're going to click Bake Sound to F Curves. It might take a little bit. Okay, I guess not. So, this is you can see that this is where it's added the keyframes at, and to get a better visual of it, if you go over here, we won't really need this box. Change it to the Video Sequencer Editor, and hit Add Sound and then add your song in wherever it is and then move it over to frame 1 okay so now when you play it you can see that it moves along to the song oh before you do that uh... using Go over to your graph editor, find out where the end of the song is. Mine's about 7,318, so I'm just going to go 7,300. And this is a pretty long song for smaller projects. You might want to use a short, or yeah, a shorter song, because longer songs just take longer to render. So if you're kind of impatient, you might not want to do it. Like the video I showed you before, that one took like six hours to render. It was but then again, I have a slow computer. Okay, anyways, so now that we've got the first block done, that's basically what you do. But for this specific tutorial, let's rebake this because I want to show you something. So click Bake Sound F Curves. And when we do this, we're only going to mess with these two settings because I don't really know much about this and what it does. So. And basically all we're using is highest frequency actually. We don't even really need to use this. So click the song you want and then under highest frequency for your first block, set it to maybe around a hundred depending on your song like the different song you want. I want the first block to kind of get like the low sounds. So now we'll bake it. Okay, and so now it just detects the lower tones. So as you can see it's not moving quite as high as it did before because it's not as sensitive I guess. So let's go back to frame 1 and we're just going to repeat the process. So shift D to duplicate it and let's just move it somewhere kind of beside it. And let's go to key and bake sound to F curves. And let's just set the frequency to like 500 maybe. and bake sound. Okay, so now this one is a little bit higher than this one was, as you can see. 
So we're just going to keep doing that, and you can do it for as many blocks as you want. Just remember, it's 100,000, I believe, is the highest frequency you can go. So don't go all willy-nilly, I guess, and use a bunch. But for this tutorial, I'm just going to use, like, maybe five. So I'm just going to speed it up here, and you can kind of watch if you want. But, yeah. Okay, so I went ahead and added frequencies to each one of these, oh sorry, and as you can tell, as you get up higher, depending on the song, it really doesn't change a whole lot, but it really is different with the first few. So now, let's set up the scene to make it look cool. So we're going to get rid of the default light, and we're actually not going to have any lamps at all, and then hit Control alt 0 to add in a camera, and let's move it and you just kind of want it centered on your blocks and that's still a little crooked now I don't really have a ton of blocks that are going to go up super high or anything so I don't really have to worry about like how high I go up with my camera because most of them are probably going to make it to there so now that we've got our camera set up let's go shift A to add mesh and plane and now we're going to scale it up and you don't really need it ginormous or anything because we only need it for reflection so if you're going to have camera movement maybe you want a bigger plane because but for this one it's just going to be a still camera so then let's go to material and click new and then we'll set this to black and then with the intensity uh, I believe that we're Oh no, sorry, not, yeah, with specular we're going to turn it to zero. And then we're going to go down to mirror, turn it on, and for reflect reflectivity, I guess, we're going to set it to 0.05. And then we're going to leave Fresnel alone, and we'll leave depth at 2, and we'll leave maximum distance alone. Okay, so then under gloss, we're going to set the amount to point. 575 and you don't have to do exactly what I'm doing you can kind of set your uh, settings to whatever so a threshold I make mine zero usually samples I'm gonna turn it up to 22 and that's pretty much all we need for the plane okay so now here darn it. I don't know why but sometimes it doesn't always work. there we go okay so we're gonna add a new material for each one of the blocks and we're going to change it to whatever color. I'm just going to make mine blue. And we're going to leave specular alone because we don't really need to worry about it too much because under shading, we're going to set the emission to 1. And this will just give it a nice effect. Like, it'll kind of glow and you'll see what I'm talking about. It's like in the video I showed you how it kind of reflected and yeah. And as you can tell, once you add a mission, it kind of changes the color, so maybe I'll edit it a little bit. I don't know. Okay. And we're, you don't have to do this, but I'm just doing it real quick. Okay. So then we're going to go to our next block. And to speed up the process, I'm just reusing the same thing. And then I'm just going to... Okay, yeah, never mind. So all my blocks are just going to be different colors or the same color for this because I'm trying not to take up too much time okay so now I believe we are done with this so under the output or the render yeah so under output choose your folder I'm just gonna leave it as the default because I'm not really gonna save this one and make sure you render it I mean Personally, I render mine as PNGs, and that's because um, if you were like your computer was to shut down or something or Blender closed, with if you're rendering it as PNGs, you can stop rendering and then re-render from whatever frame you're at. 
So it's just kind of useful to render it as a PNG. And don't do JPEG because it's not as good quality as a PNG. So now we are done with everything and we can render the animation. Oh no, we're not, sorry. So under world, we're going to set all the colors to black. This is because we want it to match our plane and we just want it to kind of blend in. Okay, so now I believe we are ready. So we can go back here and click animation. So the first scene is not going to look too pretty because it's kind of messing with like the ground plane and to solve that you can move it up a little bit but it doesn't matter too much because see it's already fixed itself by a second frame. And so as you can see it's got a really nice effect by messing with the ground plane settings and so after that you're done rendering it and you just have to add the music and you're done. So thanks for watching.